hello and welcome to my second video about the siege. So something I noticed on the subreddit that people are having trouble with was building quadcopters or different helicopter type thing. And I saw this come up a few times and people were like helping in the comments and stuff which is great but I just thought maybe I should make a video might help explain things a little better or a little easier to find. Anyway, so basically people like to build the quadcopter, something simple like this. It's fairly easy to build, everything's nice and symmetric. And they think it should be pretty easy to fly, but when they start it, it starts rotating. And you can try and compensate for it, but it very quickly becomes hard to handle, and then you're going to end up blowing up. I did that intentionally, but whatever. So the issue people are having is they just probably aren't aware of the idea of the conservation of angular momentum. Similar to conservation of momentum, people have probably heard of that one. And basically, so when you start, your quadcopter is stationary. It has no angular momentum. It's basically just like how fast it's spinning and sort of how much mass it has and where the mass is placed is another factor. But basically, it's not moving. And then the propellers start to spin but they're not putting a force, really, on anything. Like, sort of on the air, I guess. That's where you're getting lift from. But, essentially, the angular momentum of the quadcopter should stay at zero. So, the problem is, when people generally build a quadcopter or something, they don't change the orientation of their um, propellers. So, you can see all four are spinning the same way. So, what happens is they're all four going counterclockwise. So in order to balance the angular momentum and keep it at zero, you need to, or the quadcopter will actually rotate clockwise. As you can see, it's going to start going. Now, it also tips off to the left. I'm not sure why it does that. Um, but this, it's, uh, oh, there it is. Whoops. Had an extra fan. My bad. Um, yeah, so now it should be better. There we go. So you can see it's spinning and obviously as soon as it starts to tip it's just going to keep tipping more. But it makes it very hard to control. So all you need to do is just switch the direction of two of them of your propellers. Um, oops. That fan turn around. That one, that one. And then the spinning block. Um, and the same principle applies whether you're using wheels or spinning block or whatever. So now if I start it, you see it slowly drifts somewhere and Again, it's going to start tipping and going wherever, but I can compensate for that a little bit. And you can see it's much easier to fly because it's not just spinning outrageously for no reason. I'm using the fans to do that one. So that's basically all you need to know is uh, if you're doing like a quadcopter style thing, make sure you have the same number of motors spinning in like each direction. So I have two going clockwise now and two counterclockwise. So they balance each other out and it'll give you overall angular momentum of zero again and you can fly a quadcopter properly now if you make things not symmetric then that might be more difficult to balance it or if you say have things um, spinning at different speeds for instance if the two clockwise ones are spinning faster than the counterclockwise one I got that backwards counterclockwise clockwise then your quadcopter will start to rotate again so you need to make sure everything is nice and balanced and opposite to each other. And you should be able to build a quadcopter that you can fly around. And let's try and bomb these people. There you go. I hope you guys learned something or at least enjoyed this video. Um, feel free to complain if I did a poor job explaining. Um, but yeah, have fun in building quadcopters. And the same principle applies with helicopters. Whether you have two propeller ones or the one propeller with the small one on the back. And that small one is, again, to just counteract its natural rotation. Because of your angular momentum business that I just discussed. Okay, bye.